All right, welcome back to Sim Dog, and we are once again on our leveling, a leveling guide here. We just had a update with a patch, and <laughs> I did one dig, and it started happy hour. So I guess they're doing some kind of special thing where everybody gets happy hour. Um, so we're going to go try to fish for some bream. I mean, there was just a server update. So I, you know, there's just no telling if we'll, you know, if spots are going to actually be active that were active before the server update, but I guess we will soon see at least on this spot, as you can see, it's nine in the morning. So it'll be a while before bream time, but 4230 231 something like this I guess it's like this whatever all right and we are casting yeah kind of straight out here so we're gonna go I think the clip was supposed to be 13 to 15 So that's what we'll do. I actually have pearl barley, large one hooks, and um, this is 14 clip. And then size four hook on this one. But I have Crucian Gibble ground bait on there. We'll see what starts coming out. Might be worth putting actually roach ground bait during the day and then we'll switch it to bream at night. Let's just see if it's active. I mean, we'll be able to tell pretty quick if we don't catch small bream during the day, then we're probably not gonna catch big bream at night. So let's just see what if anything is, is biting here. And we may also need to put the hook size down I was thinking it was worth having a little bit bigger hook size even during the day so that we could try to get like this fish that are big enough for us to do bait harvesting. But if it's too slow, I might do, I might change one of the ones to like an eight or even a 12 just to kind of mix it up, get different size fish. Yeah, this is a nice crucian here. So this is kind of ideal if we can catch some crucian or roach during the day and then get on the bream at night could be for a could be a really nice a nice uh session here so see if we can start getting points oh that's what we need to do what am i talking about we need to make tons of egg dough during this happy hour what an opportunity to level up bait harvesting or anything else you're wanting to level up if you get a free um, free happy hour. Goodness. This has got to be a bream. Yeah, it's a big bream. Wow. So that opened up classic hair rig. Not that we have the equipment for it, but we can... Uh, technically we can fish for carp. All right. Yeah. We need to make egg dough. So we're gonna have to get some more ingredients from the grocery store. We just have to take advantage of the free happy hour, right? Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Happy hour is so good for leveling this stuff up. This is why. If you're trying to aggressively level stuff up, just take premium for the weekend and get after it. I wonder how long the uh, happy hour will go for. Oh, it looks like it's for a week. So they're celebrating, are we celebrating six years? Is that what we're doing here? Is 
There's another nice crucian. Everything's going to get lots of points here during this happy hour. All right, look at this small fish. Watch, let's release it. Six portions of cake. Whoa. What is this? I think this is like a trophy. All right, I got to do that on my main. So we got that from releasing a fish, by the way. Just to en encourage a little higher bite rate. Uh, if nothing else, it'll level up bottom fishing. All right. So we have plenty of eggs. But we need wheat flour and salt. I think it's going to be faster to hit the grocery store from the outside. Maybe I'll go ahead and get the ingredients to make like 10 stacks of the cornmeal porridge, but I think we do a lot of egg dough before we do that. Isn't this the grocery store? Yeah. All right, so we want salt. and wheat flour, egg dough, salt. And let's say we wanted to make 10 cornmeal. All right, so we need more sugar, more wheat flour, corn flour. We need eight sugar. And where's the corn flour? What is this frozen squid? Oh, we can make frozen, we can make squid bait now. This is so cool. All right, where is the corn flour? All right, so we're gonna do 10 of them, which means we need 10 more of these. Yeah, I'll have to get on my main account after this and uh, we'll do an up update video just about the patch, some of the changes, and um, all of that. Let's see where, where we get on bait harvesting from the egg dough and porridge we just got. We may end up cutting up some of these undersized or just marker size bream, basically. All right, so again, a lot of crafting. I know we did this last time too, but with this happy hour, I mean, it is just, it's a no brainer, isn't it? If we, if we can get to 60%, we can go back to the Norwegian Sea. We can do trip number two. Oh, it's just crazy. Happy hour leveling. 
on these skills. If we do two in a row where we don't get a point, we'll exit. This is why premium is worthwhile every once in a while, is the difference it makes in leveling this stuff. All right, let's take a break. So I don't mind these small crucians because again, during happy hour, we just have a better chance of leveling up our bottom feeder fishing. I think the, the only one that has the large hook on there is the middle one. All right, so now we can make uh, so now we can make honey dough as well. Mayflower larva is with the scoop. So is um, bloodworms, but we don't have the scoop, and I don't recommend it just for leveling purposes. So we'll keep making egg dough, then we'll do a little bit of cornmeal porridge and a good bit of honey dough. Honey dough actually can be a pretty good bait, in my opinion. Worth doing some of that. All right, so we've got plenty more. I do have to keep an eye on it. We'll run out of wheat flour before the other two ingredients, which honestly is probably fine. Because of how cheap it is to make egg dough, a lot of people actually make egg dough all the way up to 100%. It, especially during happy hours. I mean, it becomes harder and harder to get points with egg dough, but it still works out, I think, to be cheaper to level with egg dough than anything else uh, at higher levels. Let's see if we can get to 57.5 and then we'll take a break. I don't know if we can make it that far. We'll see. Uh, we're only at 56.5. Let's see if we can get to maybe 57. All right. We'll take a break after this one. There's points in bottom fishing. All right, the, the middle rod is definitely slowed down tremendously, but we're mostly worried about leveling bait harvesting right now, so I'm not too worried about it. I think if you wanted a faster bite rate, large one hooks during the daytime, not the way to go. Man, we even got it there on the, the dig. Fifty-seven. So I could see going to fifty-eight point five on egg dough, and then doing ten cornmeal, and then doing the rest on honey dough. Maybe it's not too big a deal if we had to switch back to egg dough. If, it, if we didn't feel comfortable, I mean, honey dough is going to be expensive to make. Honey's expensive, but again, it's a pretty good bait. All right, 
technically we've got three more unless we're going to go into the wheat flour we got for the cornmeal porridge. Ooh. If we can hit it here, that's perfect. Oh, man. So good. All right. We're still getting decent sized fish here, even with smaller hooks, so. This seems like a pretty good spot. I mean, I think it's fairly slow during the day, um, but we've got, you know, larger hooks on than you would have to use. I do wonder if the, if the pond off the bridge might be a little better bite rate during the day. And since it's just right over here, you have to go back up here, but it wouldn't take that long to get there. We'll see how Bream ends up looking overnight in this spot though. The nice thing about this is we're leveling up our bait harvesting so aggressively. Is that a roach? Okay. Let's make some cornmeal porridge and see where we're at. Again, this is pretty expensive. It's not the worst bait. I mean, it's okay. I think especially Crucian Gibble sometimes maybe. We are batting a thousand with this. We're not going to have to do that much honeydew, maybe. So this is it. Fifty nine point five. So my guess is that if we do um, if we do ten honey dough, we'll have a pretty good chance of <clears throat> of making it. Let's go grab it while it's slow here. We are down under <clears throat> under a thousand silver for the first time in a long time. But you just can't pass up this um, I'm just trying to see if you could looks like you got to be over here. Oh wait, I need to confirm how to make honey dough. Wheat flour, milk, honey. Wheat flour, I think 10 is going to be enough. Um, the wheat flour in the milk, cheap. Honey, on the other hand. All right, I bet it uses five portions. Yeah. So we need eight more. Wait, let's see. Did I get enough or am I too short? I am too short, but let's see where we get on that. Let's see where we get on that. Oh, grats on level 24 glove.
Okay. All right, let's see how eight honey dude honey dough does this. Good start. I bet we're gonna get there. The only thing we haven't made that is worthwhile in making is cottage cheese. We just never went to Cory, which is the only place you can get the ingredients. So, you know, we, I would say that it's worth getting the ingredients to make maybe 400, 400 or so cottage cheese dough as well all right well we have done it we actually don't need to use this anymore we are now at the place where we can go back to Norwegian Sea and actually use fish fillet preparation Thirty six point one. And I think the bite rate's picking up time of day. Well, that is amazing. What timing on the happy hours. One thing I sort of want to check. Wait, what corner are we at? Oh, this is the wrong corner. I want to make sure we don't have a cafe order that's about to expire. Probably not getting there on that. Oh, how brutal is that? This cafe order is just coming off. Would have been perfect. I mean, I don't know that we would have hit that overnight, but we would have had a chance. Boy, these are some terrible cafe orders just for us. They just happen to be. Whatever pops up after that bream one disappears will still be there when we're done. So I'm not worried about that. That's brutal. You love to see that bream order, but you hate to see it rolling off before you have a chance to fish for bream. I 
think I'm going to go ahead and set up for um, set up for Bream. Yeah, so the question will be, is our Bream still active on Pearl Barley after the reset? Uh, and, and the other thing is, was it even a fish migration reset? I haven't even looked into it. It might not have been. It may, everything may be pretty much the same. I don't know. Six point two. on there just trying to keep at least one rod with a slightly more active bite rate for this happy hour Six point five. I think that bite on the left actually went away. First bream of the night. Well, it's not really night yet. First bream of the late afternoon. Six point six. It's kind of an interesting exercise here. We've you know changed 
ground bait, change size of hooks. We're not going to necessarily start all of a sudden catching drastically different than we were with the Crucian Gibble ground bait. We're still going to catch a lot of Crucian Gibble, the occasional roach, but because of the time of day, the bream should start mis mixing in and the ground bait may help with that a little bit. Nice crucian. 36.8. Wow. What a shot in the arm this happy hour has been. <laughs> wow. Get a little light on the situation. So it's interesting, the size eight hook does seem to be maybe slightly better bite rate, but it is catching so far smaller bream. There's still markers, but just barely. Oof. I think we got his head turned sideways at least. Is he coming towards us? Yes, he is. It's unfortunate timing to have done that dig and have no energy. 2.159, 37.2, big chunk of XP. Wow. Speaking of premium, I guess there's a sale right now too. 25% off gold and premium. Man, I don't blame them for giving everyone free happy hours every once in a while. Because when you see the difference it makes and leveling up skills. I mean, that's quite the uh, advertisement for the value of happy hours. And it seems like they do it often enough. I mean, it's not like it's super often, but this also isn't the first time. So every once in a while you get a chance to enjoy the bonus, the boost in, in, uh, in XP and skill gain, even if you don't, even if you are a free to play player. All right, I'd say it's it's bream time. So it's time to find out 
if if this is going to turn into a legitimate bream spot or not in the evening so we've got a one one and an eight i wonder if maybe we should put like a 10 on one again just to have as good a bite rate as possible i'm not sure this spot's going to feel like it's on fire based on what we're seeing So, the only thing's not unlocked. Okay, so crafting squid meat, which was just added, is at 70%. Oh, crab meat was also just added, and that's 100%. Okay. The other nice thing when you're still at like low to mid levels is when you get to 75%, you can start digging up night crawlers, which is actually really nice. Uh, I would say besides that, a lot of the other stuff is really high level stuff. Not, not anything that a low to mid level player necessarily needs to worry about at this point. So to me, this is kind of the goal. This, this allows you to um, really fish for bream no matter what bait they're um preferring it also allows for uh harvesting fish pieces so you can get those points and in case you do trips to norway it allows you to be able to uh cut the nor the fish you catch up in norway to make it into bait the safe and mackerel So now we have a 1, a 10, and an 8. More bottom fishing points. Oof, thirty seven point seven. Don't you just kind of wonder if the bream bite, weight, bite rate would pick up if we chose a different bream bait? All right, I am going to, there's 37.8. I am going to move this to a 14 clip instead of 13. Uh, we'll get it even with the middle rod just to make sure that shorter clip isn't affecting the bite rate. So now it's at 14, 14, 15. All right, so I'm not necessarily saying this is gonna work, but just briefly, I'm gonna switch this middle rod to pea porridge.
Looks like people are just getting a nibble. Thirty-eight percent. My goodness. What happens at forty? Oh, picker rods. Nothing to see there. People ask about picker rods a lot. I mean, I think I've shared this other times, but if you are just leveling up, especially if you have a desire to get into carp fishing or you're saving up for trolling gear that you can ooh first decent bream of the night comes in on people you're saving in up on decent stuff to go for um trolling setups for volkov and or cory and volkov and archie and wherever i just don't think i think pick for me at least pickers have all i've always seen them more as a luxury item all right, we have to go to our fake bream mix here, and not um, not something I would encourage you spending resources on while you're leveling, unless that's just what seems fun to you. I mean, in general, they're for targeting smaller, more cautious fish. So, I mean, they may, I mean, they are good to use for bream fishing. I don't think they're necessary, and they're fairly expensive if you know if your goal is carp fishing or some good spinning setups or whatever that seems like a distraction that doesn't make sense unless unless again your goals are just different i have picker rods i like using my picker rods i just don't see the value in getting them while i'm leveling but that's just me again there's a lot of ways to approach the game that's just my opinion All right, pea porridge and pearl barley. Hard to tell. If I knew that there was not a uh, fish migration, I wouldn't have be probably even questioning it. Oh. But you never know. If there was a fish migration, you never know when like garlic dough cottage cheese dough pea porridge um might just be better options for bream that is a bream so it does seem like pea porridge is consistently getting the bream the question is just like and you have to do a lot of testing to figure this out How's it working compared to the people to the pearl barley? Because of the of the happy hour and the chance to level up bottom fishing, I'm kind of happy to stick with pearl barley for the most part, uh, just because we've been leveling up bottom fishing so fast. Pearl barley seems to be catching just about all the species that we want to catch here right now, so I think it's fine.
48 fish in 42 minutes. A little more than a fish per minute. It definitely picked up during the night though. I mean, during the day, think of how much bait harvesting we were doing. Had those really big hooks on there, bites were slow. I mean, if we'd had smaller hooks on, or if it had the same bite rate as it had tonight, we'd be way more fish than that. I don't know. I think people are just actually working pretty good. This spot has not been great though for Bream, but <laughs> it's been great for everything else. It's been great for leveling up bottom fishing uh we'll still make some silver and leveling up bait harvesting those two lines did just like pretty much the exact same thing there So this happens a good bit on the large hooks on that far left rod. We had the, the nibble there and I think it's just like the fish decides the hooks too big and it just goes away where the smaller hooks, they tend to, you know, stay with it. So I do think larger hooks sometimes seems to, you know, keep away the smaller fish species some of the time obviously not always there's 38.7 see i think it's the other thing is if this bream spot was on fire and we were catching a ton of one kilo plus bream we would also be getting because those are good size bream we'd be leveling up uh, bottom fishing off of those a good bit as well i mean it's still happening a ton i mean we're at 38.7 now when we started off at what 33 something or even 34 There's another one. Nice bream. Our XP bar has also moved a lot because of the happy hour.
So I guess we should just go ahead and do this on these nine marker while it's still happy hour. It's happy hour is about to finish, but just just for the sake of you know getting the percentages while we can. There's another one. Is that a white green? Ooh, it's a nice one, 39%. Nine point one. All right. Why has this spot gotten better? It's been weird. Now we're at twelve over a kilo. Started off slower, but it's kind of ending strong. And I really don't mind, there's 39.2. I really don't mind having these big crucians mixed in. I mean, they're not as good silver XP as Bream, but I mean, you're catching fish, you're leveling up bottom and, and they're, you know, worth a couple silver, I would think. That's one thing the spot has going for it. If you're willing to sort of adjust your approach based on the time of day, you can catch all four species of fish that, you know, you would typically go for in a spot like this. Ooh. It's another one. Wow. 39.3. Yeah, all of a sudden we're at 60 fish. And remember, that's more like 70 to 75 between the ones that we turned into fish pieces and I did just straight up release a few that were so small we couldn't do anything with them. That's a big crucian. Almost trophy. 39.4 on the bottom fishing. That is very close to trophy size though.
39.5. So the one thing that PPORG seems to be doing is not catching the Crucian Gibble Roach and just focusing Bream. But I don't know that that necessarily means it's better for Bream right now. Because like I said, you don't mind catching these Crucian Gibbles, especially during a happy hour where you're leveling up your bottom fishing so quickly. Uh, so it's interesting. Maybe worth trying one with pea porridge. Or maybe testing one night of it with just pea porridge, but I don't know. We also could, could test the other bream baits if you were going to fish multiple nights. I just didn't want to mess with our results here with the uh, with the happy hour. And if I had to guess based on what we're seeing, I would say they have not migrated the fish. I think this is about what you were catching in this spot pre-server reset, but I don't know that for sure. We'll see if this is a bream or if something else comes in on the yeah that's a bream i think people are just kind of zeroing in on the bream i thought happy hour should be over now it's not yet Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, there it is. Let's get one more fish or so, then we'll call it. Wow, 66 fish, most of them keepers. We've done pretty good. All right, one more pea porridge fish possibly. The bream are definitely going to be getting smaller, if not already, definitely soon. Whoa. Probably a crucian. No, that's a little bream. This will probably be a little bream as well. Okay. I like it. Okay. So we, unfortunate cafe orders, but we'll just double check, make sure that Something hasn't um, taken the place of that bream order that actually is relevant to the fish that we've been catching. I mean, you know, there's some times where you could hit two or three or even four cafe orders in the spot that we're fishing. If you had a bream, a couple crucian gibble, and a roach order or something. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Roach, if we, I don't know, to hit that, we probably need to switch spots. There's so many Crucian Gibbles, the Roach aren't coming in consistently. Or maybe switch baits, so we could zero in on Roach. But either way, let's see what damage we did. Hopefully this put us back over 1,000. Oh, yeah, it should. 151 silver. Wow. That is great. Oh, what a good, what a good session. I cannot express how good this was primarily because of the harvesting bait and bottom fishing progression but the silver was also very good and a very active fun spot to fish okay well i guess happy sixth anniversary of rf4 to everyone and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time later on